Good evening. Thank you for joining me. Your man, Dom and K, in here at the Dom and K Show at Radio on Fire. I want to talk a little bit about tax sales. In Baltimore City, we're going to talk about this process of tax sales. So the city of Baltimore holds an annual tax lien certificate sale every year. The highest bidder in the auction pays the total amount of the property lien to the city of Baltimore, and then they receive a tax sale certificate. This comes from the city, and it gives the bidder the right to obtain ownership of the property by filling a tax sale foreclosure lawsuit. So you often hear about this in Baltimore City. It's one of those things. I, I really I really hate it, actually. Uh, but the mayor of Baltimore, Brandon Scott, has announced that the Baltimore City Tax Sale Work Group is going to meet this week. So via a press release, uh, he talked about this. And, you know, the establishment of this group happened in late September. So the mayor announcing that this tax sale work group is going to hold its first meeting on Thursday, October 28th, 2 p.m. This is going to be a virtual meeting, and this meeting is open to the public, and I encourage you to uh, attend this meeting. We're going to have a stream on Radio on Fire as well. And, uh, you know, additional details, uh, future meeting dates and all of that good stuff is uh, going to be available at the Boards and Commissions web page. So uh, in addition to that uh, announcement, uh, the uh, local control advisory board is going to hold uh, an inaugural meeting on Wednesday, the 27th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Uh, meeting details also available on uh, the boards and commissions uh, web page. So this tax sale work group was established, according to the mayor, to pursue long-term fixes. This this uh, process is is convoluted. It is often unfair, and uh, but this is supposed to be something to help with long term uh, fixes of this tax sale process, and announced plans to purchase liens of about four hundred and fifty four owner occupied homes this fall. The city is going to do that. They're going to purchase the liens of 454 owner-occupied homes. Now, in line with the mayor's desire to protect Baltimore's legacy residents, that's what they're doing. So the mayor is trying to protect some of the older folks, and they are doing this. So this purchase is is supposed to satisfy the outstanding liens on these properties. And this is going to take them out of the tax sale process, out of the possibility that they lose their homes. And this is going to allow the homeowners to start fresh with a clean slate. So if this is as cut and dry as they are uh, outlining in the press release, this is a good thing. So the work group is co-chaired by Baltimore City Deputy Chief Administrative Officer Daniel Ramos and the Executive Director of Neighborhood Housing Services, the NHS uh, Baltimore, that is Daniel Ellis. Membership includes internal and external stakeholders key to the city's tax sale process. So these are folks that are, uh, you know, knee deep in this uh, process, in this stuff. And uh, I'm going to attend this meeting virtually. As I said, uh, RadioOnFire.com is going to have links to the meeting as well. So I encourage folks in Baltimore to attend this. Uh, the tax sale, the the whole convoluted process is something that we have complained about in the city for many years. So hopefully this is the start of something new. We, we You hate to hear 
about uh, elderly folks losing their homes because of, of various tax related things. Uh, so hopefully this is a step in the right direction. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Dom and K Show, at Radio on Fire. Of course, I will be back here tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern, 7 Central Time for the Dom and K Show. But of course, if you miss any episodes of the program, you can always check that out, RadioonFire.com slash Diamond K or anywhere you get your podcast. You can uh, check out the show. See you guys in the morning.